Good evening, everyone. You're listening to Eurovision Place News Radio, and we are having a very special sh- radio show tonight. Hello, first of all, hello, Antonia. Hello, Georgos. Hello, Fabio. How are you doing, guys? Hello. Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And tonight we have a very special guest with us. And it's directly from Slovenia. We have Maria. Hello. Hey, well, at the moment we have Ray. Hello, Ray. Yes, hello. How are you guys? Really nice to have you here with us. Yeah, it's it's our pre- thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you for the acceptable. It was just amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, you're kind. Yes, so with, um, we, as we said, we were going to have a, a, a interview to talk more about your career, so mm-hmm. our radio listeners will know what everything about Maria. And my first question is, when was your first single released? I mean, when was that? When did you start your career? Oh well, our I mean, first single. Uh, any group that we were in was like 12 years ago but um as for maria this this um act you know marietka and me it's just uh one and a half year old although we are in music for 12 years now in different um platforms um our first song was actually song loving me that was released um let's say last may when eurovision started I was uh, on Eurovision with Tinkara Kovac of Slovenia, and uh, at the moment, where when the Eurovision started mm-hmm. at the beginning of May, the song uh, "Loving Me" was released in Italy. So this was the beginning of Maria, Maria. Uh, but our careers uh, began like yeah, twelve, eleven years ago. Very nice. Very nice. Very very yeah. nice. <laughs> so the second question for you is. Uh, How did you decide to go to Emma in 2015? Well, we we have prepared four singles for the label that we are collaborating with. Um, and they were all like, you know, already confirmed hits from our label. And uh, when we were planning to release the second single, it was around March 2015. And we saw that Slovenian television was just, you know, going to uh, organize this uh, Eurovision pre-selection and we said, well, it's fantastic promotion. We could send the song that we will be releasing. And yeah, that's what happened. So we didn't do a song just uh, tailor-made for Eurovision. We just uh, picked one of these four uh, upcoming singles, which one is, you know, the most ear-warmed. And uh, there were like hundreds of people that helped us to choose between those four songs. And it was the right decision, obviously. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, I have another question that is a little bit off topic, but uh, I wonder if n- did you have uh, at Emma or will you have at Eurovision any lucky charm or like a lucky person that you think about that maybe will bring you good luck for your performance in Vienna? Yeah, we have many. <laughs> First of all, uh, as for persons, hello, yeah, mm-hmm. as for persons, uh, we have our sons uh, at Eurovision, well, only first week, and our family. Um, and as for lucky charms, uh, it's headphones are definitely one of Marietka's lucky charms, and I have my own around neck as well. Um, it's there are those things and people that brings us joy and uh, happiness and self confidence and i think that we gathered perfect uh, combination of uh, those people and we have great team for eurovision that sounds perfect i i was thinking more or less the same and now about your song i was wondering also like uh we wonder what's the message behind the song here for you yeah it's You know, we really we put a lot of effort in lyrics because we didn't just want to go with uh, Eurovision English that is a lot of times used like just some love songs and these hooks with baby, oh, ow. We wanted to mean something to us, to people. We want to, people to relate to the song. And first we had this down, down thing when we were doing demo and, um, and the opening line 
I, you came into my life when I was broken. And everything began from that. So we wanted the song about, you know, um, what you give is what you get. Uh, this story tells uh, a song, but I, this song tells a story about two people, how um, a guy or a girl or whatever was in someone's life and he or she helped her or him. And then when this specific person needed help, then the other person was also there for him. So be there for me and I will be here for you. It's all about that. So what you give is what you get. It's always like that. It's a very nice uh, song about mutual uh, support and like I said, like true friendship. I, I definitely can relate to that. And I can tell you that this yeah. is one of my favorite songs of the year. I really, it would be amazing if you win. Like, oh, thank you. Be, <laughs> I hope so. We hope so. And so, uh, we hope so indeed. Who is coming thank with the you. next set of questions? We have more questions, guys. Yeah, of course. Uh, hello, this is Yorgos. I'm going to continue Hi. with the questions. So uh, I begin with, uh, what's the meaning of the headphones you use? Well, let's uh, let's ask this Maritka. She just came downstairs, and I'm I'm going back to the kids. Okay, so, great. Uh, okay. Hey, Maritka. Uh, hi there. Uh, hi, Marietka. Hello, hello Maritka. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Hi. Yeah, I heard the question, and everybody uh, uh, are asking me about these headphones. But actually, it's not uh, such a big thing. Uh, it's. Uh, I just wanted to bring um, that feelings that I have in studio uh, on the stage. And uh, one day I uh, questioned Ray, oh, Ray, uh, can I have it? Uh, ha can I have headphones uh, wh wh while I'm singing uh, and performing? And he said, yeah, of course you can. Uh, so uh, I have uh, it because I want to bring uh, these feelings that I have in studio um, uh, to the stage, that's all. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, the next question is, have you listened to other entries in the second semi-final? And if yes, do you have any favorites? Uh, well, if I'm truly honest, uh, Ray is the one who is listening to everything, can check in, and uh, uh, I think this is a little, uh, a small game for him. <laughs> but I'm so busy with uh, so uh, many different things. Uh, I heard some of songs, but I don't know uh, if, they, uh, if they are in uh, our uh, semi-final. I heard sw uh, Sweden song, and I love it, and Spain song. Um, I heard also uh, Belgium uh, that I like. Uh, whew. Many songs. I, I, I really like many songs. I think this year uh, is a uh, high quality of the songs. So, uh, but I, but, but I, you know, I didn't listen to it so much. So Ray would be the be uh, better <laughs> uh, for this yeah. answer. Of course, we understand him. And the next question is, how you prepare for this Friday to Eurovision in concert in the Netherlands? Uh, well, actually, um, if um, I would say the performance, uh, I, I, I have, uh, we have uh, um, done uh, the performance. Uh, we, uh, when we uh, were select, uh, selected for the Eurovision on our pre-selection email, we did uh, all the, you know, vocal, uh, vocal exercises or uh, lessons so I think uh, I'm vocally totally pre pre prepared uh, as a stage you know uh, we don't have so uh, many chore uh, chore choreography or something like that uh, we will just uh, sing with uh, um, all our emotions that's uh, the main thing uh, when of, of our performance to to, to be as emotional as you, as I can. That's my goal every every time I sing the song. Mm -hmm, that's great, and I think that the rest uh, with the staging will be revealed in Vienna in May. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, the next question is: uh, Do you think that it's great to be one of the last performance in the second semifinal? How do you feel about it? Mm, well, actually, I think the number. Uh, doesn't count actually. Um, some somebody tell us that yeah that we have a great number 
but um, I think it's not uh, it's not important uh, where uh, where your number is uh, on the on the semi final. Um, I think you have to deliver what what you want. You, you have to to do all you can, and that's the most important thing. And the number really, I think, it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Because many people say that uh, the number is uh, very important, and especially if you are at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, many, ma many people say uh, says that, but I, I, I'm not. You know, um, you no, don't I, believe in that. You don't believe in no, that. No, I, I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I will, I, I will just, uh, you know, go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. So the next question is from Fabio from Portugal. Okay, great. I, is he online or we lost him? I lost him, so... Maybe we lost him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will continue with the questions. Uh, okay, okay. How do you feel about uh, to be one of the favorites of Eurovision bets? Well, actually, we are honored and um, kind of surprised. Uh, not that uh, surprised in this kind of way that we don't believe in our song, because we, we uh, truly do believe in our performance and in and, and song, but Slovenia often doesn't get so much attention. Uh, but this year, this year is different, and we are delighted, happy. I don't know which word words can I describe these uh, feelings. Uh, we are really happy that uh, we touched people, and uh, uh, that's why we are so excited to go to Vienna. I can't wait to go on the stage and perform. Um, that's a special, you know, special um, reason to do more and more uh, uh more and more to be able to be really great you know <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah and i have to admit that it's one of the first time that i i see slovenia so high so i yeah, think you yeah. have many chances for me yeah um well actually uh we get a lot of questions oh uh, would you like to win or something like that a connection connecting to the you know the place where we'll be but uh, in my head, it's just one thing. Um, we, 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 we won't go to Vienna to take, you know, the award. We just want to be there to give something to the people, to touch them. Uh, I know it's maybe, uh, maybe I sound, you know, uh, too cheesy, but uh, this, this uh, as a performer, you, you really want to, to, you know, when I sing the song, um, I, in, in some parts, uh, I get goosebumps and... Um, uh, I'm so in the song, I'm so into the song uh, that I can really feel the words. And if some of my energy, uh, you know, uh, will will be on the on the listeners, that's that's the goal for us, for me. So I I, I I'm not into uh, uh, into you know the place. Uh, um, I, I will, uh, we will be happy, of course, if we uh, if we uh, we will uh, be on a good uh, position at the, uh, at the end. But um, it's not the most important thing for us. Mm -hmm, that's great. And the next question is: uh, If you have a message for all of the Eurovision fans or your supporters here? Yeah. Oh, the message. <laughs> um, uh, nowadays, I'm really into this energy stuff, <laughs> and I I, I, I want to say um, to all that: uh, just take your dreams, uh, be who you are. Uh, don't uh, don't spend time on small, stupid things. Just live the life. No, that's great. So we have with us yeah. uh, Fabio. Fabio, do you want to continue with the question number eleven? Okay. Yes. Uh, well. Do you see that it will be difficult for you, Mangieta, to sing in front of millions of people? Um, well, actually, I, um, I, that's a great thing because all the musicians really, uh, we want to be seen, to be heard. And if uh, we have the chance to sing in front of such a big audience, that's... Uh, that's a gift for us, I think. I, I take it as a gift, not as a, you know, scary moment. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, uh, the other question is, what do you see in the people to vote this year for Slovenia? 
Um, what uh, What would I say? If, is, is, is that the question? Because I didn't hear it, so... Uh... Oh yes, what what do you see that people should vote for for the song of Slovenia this year? I mean, uh, what is the special uh, in your song that other songs maybe don't have? Uh huh. Um, well, hmm, I'm thinking now. <laughs> uh, Take worry. your time. <laughs> Take your time because it's it's a hard question. Yeah, it's a hard question. Um, I might because, I might help you a little bit. I think the lyrics. Yeah, the lyrics. Yeah, it means something. Yeah, I think everybody can relate to to the lyrics. Uh, but if I uh, what I I feel some special energy about our song. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> no, you uh, and many people. It, it's many not people. only you. Mariatka. Okay. No. Can I can uh, I say something, guys? Uh, Mariatka, yeah. I really like so that you you managed to bring on. Uh, in three minutes, you made a super combination of contemporary, a little bit folky, and still you don't you are not doing a cheesy song. You you managed to do commercial and non-commercial at the same time, and that's something uh, that's yeah, really admirable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with you. Um, uh, because the melody is, you know, it's not hard to uh, remember, uh, but actually um, we uh, with. I uh, when I sing it uh, with all the emotions in um, in as a, uh, as in interpretation of the song, I think it lost all the cheesiness that it would have if you will if you would listen to j to just a melody, you know, playing play it on the piano, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the music is not you know um, so measurable as a, a sport. Né? Uh, if you if you if you go to the sports uh, match, then uh, everybody can see the result because it uh, times uh, maybe time shows you who's better. But um, I don't know. Uh, uh, in Eurovision, I think for the for the for the good result would be. Uh, Is, the be is it important to deliver the song th on that stage, that moment, to uh, really, to really have this good energy? That's that's really important. Mm -hmm. It's the best. I mean, you can be a great singer, but if you don't project it, it's yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I, yeah. I really get your point. It's very important. Yeah. Okay, so now we continue with a set of questions of uh, Tonya. Okay, it's Tonya from Greece. Uh, we have the questions of Chat Eurovision Place. Uh, I had a lot of questions, so I choose uh, only some of them. Anes from Bosnia asks you, whose idea was to create this duo and why? Okay, Ray come. Uh, yeah. Ray came, so... <laughs> hey, Ray! Hey, Ray! <laughs> He does. He doesn't want to to be a babysitter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a question. Uh, the idea of the duo. Mm -hmm. Well, um, actually, at first, um, at first, we started this project uh, as Marietka's single project, you know. But when we did the song and presented to our label, the idea came from the people we trust that we are. We are one, you know, not not because we're married, but we've been creating and doing everything together, having our own music school and uh, this class, uh, music class, and we do everything like in combination. And it's actually this is us, and also the trend outside is, you know, that um, the producers and the creators of the song are in the front lines, you know, so like Avicii, you don't, sometimes you don't even know who the singer is, it's just Avicii because he did the music and the production. So I'm always joking that Marietka can be happy that this, um, this uh, project is not solo act named Ray, you know. <laughs> so, so actually, yeah, it was a bit of our label, a bit of our friends and people we trust, and it was because it came from heart. Maria, this is us, it's Marietka and Ray, and This is music, and I think it's a great idea. Yes, and your message uh, that uh, nowadays we need uh, real love, and you saw this to the people, and it's just amazing. Thanks. 
Uh, Panda from Hungary asks, did you like uh, Eurovision when you were children? Yes, actually, uh, I, I watched it all the time. Also, Marietka watched it. Um, but I was probably more involved. I was always listening and singing the songs from Yugoslavia, you know, that were competing for uh, Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And it was always... Uh, I'm, I wasn't like this um, crazy fan fan, but I, I can say I'm a fan of Eurovision because I'm, I'm a musician. This was always a window for all the musicians that won national selection. And it's always this energy that something is there. Even, if, even for the musicians that were never on EMA or on Eurovision, it's, you know, it's the meaning. Something can happen. You, sometimes, someday you will be able to go to Eurovision. It's the hope. And I think it's important. Some, sometimes our national television is questioning, is it worth it, you know, to be on Eurovision regarding that we don't have top five results and stuff. But I think it is because millions of people see the name of country and all music industry, you know, has the inspiration that you can go there and you can show to the Europe or to the world what you do. So I think it's an important, important thing. And that's why I'm also a fan of Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Diego from Paraguay asks, if will the air violin player have headphones during the performance in Vienna like you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> She does, she does the thing with her head, you know, when she's playing the crazy violin. And she will, of course, have the in-ear, like we all do. Jose from Spain is asking. <laughs> oh. What? What? Again? The, I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was my fault. I'm sorry. No, uh, the, the, quest, the question of Jose is, what is the name of the, the girl who is playing the violin? The violin, oh, yeah. Uh, she's actually Lara, but her Lara. stage name... Yeah, but her stage name is Balodis. She has the stage name, the artistic name, because she's also an artist. She's painting pictures, you know? And uh -huh. this is, yeah, this is her artistic name, Balodis, you know? So, yeah, you can go both ways. Some or pictures that we are watching in your official uh, page in Facebook are from here? No, no. Uh -huh. um, no, she's not like photo, um, she's not doing photo pictures. She's just, you know, artistic. She's uh, painting, like drawing, you know, mm -hmm. pictures, yes, drawing. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, um, Yoon from Korea, but he lives in German, asks, the lyrics of the song are very cute and lovely. I wonder who is that person you are singing to? Um, well, like we said, like Monica said, it's... It, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it's not meant to sing to, I don't know, to each other in the love. Although maybe she could relate, she's singing to me or to someone she loves, to her mother, to her friend. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't think of any particular, we just think of emotion, you know, of singing to someone that needs that, that is watching you uh, through camera. And Varietka is singing to, the lonely or the happy souls doesn't matter because this song is for lonely or broken or happy or really happy hearts for anybody. Very nice. Also, you have uh, greetings from Nestor from Venezuela, <laughs> and he says that he he's made a suggestion uh, that he loved singing uh, your uh, your headphones in lighting with blue color on the stage. <laughs> uh, How? Yeah. <laughs> nah, he says Yours, that, that yes. if you could, if you could put some neon light or something on the headphones, coloring <laughs> blue or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were thinking of of many things, but we we don't we want to look you know organic and natural. Yeah. Um, yes, the headphones and the air violinist are I think uh, show enough. You know, if we go on neon and some <laughs> other things, <laughs> we can. It's a, it's a um, whoo, risky path, I think. Yeah, he, he's a big fan of your song. I, I have seen him on chat, so he's like, yeah, it would be nice if they do this and they do that. Yeah, just yeah, playing yeah. with his we imagination. Actually, uh, actually uh, on our performances, like in uh, clubs, actually, Lara Balodis, the air violinist, has uh, some, some neon lights on her body. She has that, but it's not uh, for, for Eurovision performance. Mm -hmm. But in clubs, she has that, and it's, you know, blinking and stuff. It's, it's interesting. Maybe, maybe he saw a video from that. 
<laughs> yeah, it would be bad. Yeah. Anyway. Ray, I, I got a question from Laura. She is from Spain, from Sevilla. And she asked if it is the true that you are the composer of the song from Eurovi uh, Junior Eurovision in Slovenia 2014. Actually, we both are. Um, so the whole Marea team, together with Ula Loja, uh, composed and produced the song Missy Sam, Your Light. So yes. And oh. Marietka, Marietka is uh, also Ula's teacher. We were kidding. We were kidding when we didn't know yet that we will go to Eurovision. Um, when we were on Junior Eurovision, we were kidding that Ma, that Ula is actually um, young Maria, not Marietka, but young Maria, because she had the same producer as Marietka, and she sang like the same as her teacher, just like the young one. So yeah, <laughs> Ula oh, is yeah. the young. Yeah. Guys. Uh Unfortunately, we can't make more questions. Uh, oh my God, the chat is like oh, my private questions, questions. So yeah. I would send Many just... people are sending questions to me right now in yes, chat. Yes, but yeah. we can't make more. I would Sorry. send just greetings from Jose from Spain, Gile from France, Chris from Norway, Clay from Albania, uh, Mel from Bulgaria, Jack from United Kingdom, Gogo from Greece, Alan Torres from France, Yanis from Greece. <laughs> okay. Yeah, to the many chat others. Raqueta from Poland, Luis from Spain, Pedro from Portugal, and Mariana. Oh many God. people. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I guys. Me all these questions. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Marietka? It's, uh, it would be so nice uh, to close the interview if you could listen, if you could sing a part of your song, but maybe... She, she, definitely, she definitely will. If you wait like 10 seconds to exchange with her... Okay, but of just... course! <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. It, yeah. Okay, let's wait with Marietka. So let's read uh, something else from radio. Yeah, from chat. Uh, uh, Jose from Spain said that he loved the accent of Tonya. We love this guy. It's no Hi, problem. Marietka. Hi, Hi, Marietka. Oh, oh, we have also the dogs. If you're here, we have the dogs. <laughs> oh, the Hello, dog guys. vocalist. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marietka, would you like to sing us? Uh, uh, yeah, you, 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 you wanted to 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 for me to sing here for you as yes. well I think yeah, yeah. yes oh, yeah. okay uh, so I will do the chorus of the song if uh, is that okay with you okay That's yes perfect yes, of oh, I, I I ran now so <laughs> <laughs> my heart is beating because of re uh, running <laughs> okay I'll do it okay when you're down down low. Singing in the undertow When you're down, down low You know that I'm here for you Cause I know, no, baby All the hurt you never show When you're down, down low You gotta let me heal your aching soul This is your official place <laughs> 